Hey, so I'm still on the road with my family and friends, unable to do this for my studio. So instead I thought I would just pull over and randomly walk around this beautiful neighborhood and tell you about the Rebel Moon trailer I just watched. And I think I did it the right way on my phone. I think people are gonna be very excited to hear that Zack Snyder's back, baby. Just looking around to see how many people are watching me cringe out right now. Here's what I got from this trailer. It's a two-parter. That means we have to watch it in two sittings because they're coming out at different times. It's written, directed, all that crap by Zack Snyder, which means it could go full Snyder and that can be a dangerous thing. I love some of his earlier stuff, 300's a favorite of mine, but Sucker Punch missed the mark and I thought some of his newer things were a little bit too out there. This definitely looks to have shades of 300. It's got some of his newer BVS stuff in there, which could be good or bad. I will say this, he knows how to frame up a good field shot. There's some good field shots in this film. He likes the corn, he likes the wheat. I'm liking all of it. I think what really is gonna excite people is this film features a strong female lead. And for Netflix, it's about time. I didn't count the slow-mo speed-ups in this, but there were probably 40. That might be underselling it. Lots of slow-mo speed-ups. Hopefully the final product isn't that aggressive. A lot of that uh, discombobulated chanting going on in the trailer. Let's keep that down. Let's, let's calm down with that. I don't want a Wonder Woman situation. Where we hear the chanting every time she does literally anything, stirring some coffee, chanting, walking in a room, chanting, filing her taxes, chanting. Some of you may have noticed the Monticello firefighter insignia on my breast. This is not my shirt. This is my brother's. He is a firefighter. I'm a YouTube movie critic. I'll let you decide which one has more value in the world. Visually speaking, Lord Snyder has given us his craft again. It's, it's visual splendor. It's an orgy of cinematic achievement. I think it looks great. I guess final thoughts are this. I hope this movie is not too overcomplicated up its own ass with weird Snyder Easter eggs and promises of a, like a full universe to come. Let's keep it straightforward enough to justify a simple two-part flick. Netflix is kind of doing the Dune thing here. They got their own version of Dune. It's a two-parter. Let's just, let's just make it simple. Keep it straightforward. Those are my only thoughts. I wanted to get this out quick because, you know, time is always of the essence on YouTube. If, if you don't talk about it yesterday, it's irrelevant today. It's sad but true, Metallica. All right, those are my thoughts on whatever this movie is called. I already forgot the name. Let me know yours in the comments below. Please subscribe if you like the content, like the video, share, all that crap. I'll be back in the studio in about a week. Until then, look for more of these, like, walk and talk kind of sad attempts to spice things up. Take care.